In our previous lectures, we have learnt about the introduction of photo reduction of carbonyl compounds and photo reduction of benzophenone in isopropyl alcohol. Today we are going to learn about photo reduction of benzophenone in toluene. That is, this is the part 2 lecture of photo reduction of carbonyl compounds. <coughs> As you know, benzophenone is a carbonyl compound or it is also called aromatic ketone. Toluene is the hydrogen donor. Glacial acetic acid is the catalyst. Now what happens to benzophenone when it is reacted with toluene in presence of glacial acetic acid? Let us see the reaction. The reaction goes like this. Benzophenone, which is in ground state, benzophenone is pH, pH C double bond O. When it is irradiated by UV light of 345 nanometers range, in presence of glacial acetic acid as catalyst, from ground state, it is excited to N to pi star transition and enters singlet state that is S1. From singlet excited state through intersystem crossing it enters triplet excited state. In the triplet excited state benzophenone will react with toluene which is present in ground state to give us three products namely Benzophenicol, which is the major product, and 1, 1, 2 triphenyl ethanol, and third one is 1, 2 diphenyl ethane. Two moles, two molecules of benzophenone that is pH C double bond O will abstract two hydrogen atoms from toluene to become pH pH COH pH pH COH that is benzopinacol and this product is called 1 comma 1 comma 2 triphenyl 1 ethanol that is pH C pH OH CH2 C6H5 this is 1 comma 1 comma 2 triphenyl 1 ethanol and the third product is C6H5, CH2, CH2, C6H5. This C6H5 that is phenyl group is on first carbon atom. And this phenyl group is on the second carbon atom. That is why it is called 1 comma 2 diphenyl ethane. Ethane because there are two carbon atoms. Let us see the mechanism. Benzophenone, which is in ground state, that is S0, when irradiated by UV light of the range 345 nanometers, it gets excited to N to pi star transition and enters singlet state S1. From S1, it enters triplet excited state T1 through intersystem crossing, that is ISC. In triplet excited state, the pi bond between carbon and oxygen cleaves homolytically to give us a bi radical. The bi radical is pH, pH, C radical, and O radical. This is the bi radical. This bi radical 
reacts with toluene which is in ground state toluene is c6h5 ch3 ch3 can be written as c h h h so the oxygen atom of the bi radical abstracts one hydrogen atom from toluene to give us two new radicals these two new radicals are th ph c o h radical which is benz hydrol radical or ketyl radical and c6h5 ch2 radical that is toluene radical so these two new radicals are formed as a result of the reaction between benzphenone in triplet excited state and toluene in ground state the notes is can be written like this benzophenone upon irradiation by uv light undergoes n to pi star excitation and enters singlet excited state s1 from singlet excited state s1 it enters triplet excited state t1 through intersystem crossing isc in triplet excited state t1 the pi bond between carbon and oxygen breaks to form a bi radical the oxygen of the bi radical abstracts h atom from toluene to form two new radicals they are benzhydryl radical or ketyl radical and toluene radical or benzyl radical these two radicals will react to give us three products of them benzopinacol is the major product let us see the reactions of benzhydryl radical and benzyl radical <coughs> two benzyl radicals dimerize or combine to form benzopinacol that is ph ph COH radical benzhydryl radical will react with another benzhydryl radical that is PH PH COH radical these two radicals will combine to form a new bond between them <coughs> this is benzopinacol PH PH COH PH PH COH is the benzopinacol there are two hydroxyl groups so it is called pinacol the second possibility is benzhydryl radical and benzyl radical will combine to form 1,12 triphenyl 1 ethanol this is benzhydryl radical that is ph ph coh radical and this is ph ch2 radical that benz benzyl radical these two radicals will join together to form a new bond between them giving us 1,1,2 triphenyl 1 ethanol ph ph coh ph ch2 and a bond between them this is 1,1,2 triphenyl 1 ethanol this is the second product the third process pull way is two benzyl radicals will dimerize or combine to form 1 2 diphenyl ethane 
this is a benzyl radical that is ph ch2 radical is benzyl radical will react with another benzyl radical ph ch2 radical these two radicals will oh, join to form a new bond here so as a result of which we get 1 comma 2 diphenyl ethane that is ph ch2 ch2 ph it's nothing but 1 comma 2 diphenyl ethane so we have completed part 2 of, so we have completed part 2 of photo reduction of carbonyl compounds first we have learned about introduction of photo reduction of carbonyl compounds in the second part lecture we have learned about photo reduction of carbonyl compounds in isopropyl alcohol and here we have learned about photo reduction of benzophenone in toluene in the coming lecture we shall learn about photo reduction of benzophenone in benzhydrol thanks for watching please like share subscribe and comment thanks for watching again